For students at Treeline Public School, learning is happening everywhere, even more so now that they're bringing their own devices to school. Technology has really changed the way we do business at, at Treeline, and uh, we are finding that learning is happening everywhere now that we are able to bring technology to the students and they're able to bring their own technology from home. Um, students are not powering down anymore, uh, they're powered up all the time and we're very excited about this new way of teaching and learning at our school. The tools that students use in their everyday lives are also the tools that are welcome at the School for Learning. iPods, smartphones, PSP devices, Nintendo DS, laptops and tablets can be seen in many classes. Students are coached in the most effective use of the technology to accomplish their tasks and they are also expected to be responsible digital citizens. When we started using technology this year, we found it very important to establish proper protocols and to identify the importance of respecting the technology as well as each other. So it was a small extension but not uh, much different than how we normally teach learning skills on a daily basis. The difference now is we took our tools that we were bringing to school with Bring Your Own Device and they became extensions of ourselves. Technology has helped the students at the school to learn in a collaborative environment and demonstrate their knowledge in ways that appeal to 21st century learners. Sharing ideas and reflecting on experiences in an online setting really gives students a voice. Often it's the kids who are really shy and don't participate in whole class discussions that are the most verbose on our class websites. I tend to be shy in class and don't really want to share ideas or participate in class debates. But when I'm online, I have more of a voice and I'm able to offer ideas and give suggestions to my classmates. Teachers have been encouraged to embrace the bring your own technology revolution at Treeline and accept that with anything new comes risks and the fear of the unknown. The climate of the school allows the teachers to explore and learn along with their students about what bring your own device means in the new classroom. Bring your own device is the ultimate differentiation. Instructions can be read and reread. Students can work at their own pace and not feel like they're holding anyone back. And feedback from teachers and peers is right at the students' fingertips. I do everything on my computer, from daily agendas, to class schedules, to marking and giving feedback, looking at rubrics. How can I expect my students to use paper and pencil when I never do? Students with learning exceptionalities benefit greatly from bringing their own device. These students tend to work a lot slower with paper and pencil, and so by having a computer available, they work much quicker. They also have tools at their fingertips, such as spell check and class websites where they can download graphic organizers to help them. It just makes the whole process quicker, and the students find it more enjoyable too. Instead of writing, they're clicking and swiping and tapping. Although primary students have not yet started to bring their own devices, they have been able to access engaging technology within the school to develop literacy skills. By using flip cameras and netbooks, these young students have been able to increase their oral language skills using peer and self-assessment. In grade one, the students were able to use the flip cameras to tape one another while they orally presented their narratives and then give descriptive feedback using the framework of two stars and a wish. The students really enjoyed taping one another and they found it quite easy to manage and use the flip cameras independently. They also have used the technology to enhance their ability to recount events that otherwise might have been forgotten. We used the flip cameras to tape what they were doing at the Peel Safety Village in order to remind them the next day on all the different things that they did they were able to fill out a news plan and then write a recount of their trip. It aided the students because they were able to remember all the different things that they did. Students are not just bringing their own devices because it's the cool thing to do. They understand and have helped us to understand that there is a need for them to use the devices to organize and plan their activities, to become more productive and to connect with the other students within their classrooms and around the world. When students struggle with reading and writing, school can be extra challenging. Um, assistive technology helps. It helps with word prediction. It will read text to them. And it really particularly helps when they're doing research projects. It takes a lot of the stress out of um, schoolwork for the kids. Assistive technology is their saving grace and allows them to be successful. I use technology to help me read. When I go on the computer, it helps me spell words that I really don't know. 
And when I do my presentation and I need information, I'll just go on the internet and look up something and it would really help me. One student commented that the use of technology is just efficient and that's what makes it necessary and useful. Using your iPod during class is very helpful because it helps you concentrate on work while listening to music and you can research on your own device other than waiting for the classroom computer. At Treeline, you will see students working on iPads to create art that the teacher is able to access by using an app that allows them to watch the creative process. At the same time, these students listen to their favorite music on their iPods with the telltale white earbuds pulled out when instruction or directions need to be given by the teacher. Using YouTube within the classroom is a really great tool that provides you with an opportunity that you wouldn't otherwise have. Students are engaged while they watch the YouTube video and then continue to be engaged as they're able to work at their own speed, be, being extremely successful. Using the iPads in the classroom, it's allowed me to give students the opportunity to practice a specific type of medium over and over without the mess. It's a great opportunity that students wouldn't otherwise get. It involves them in mediums that they wouldn't otherwise see. And through the tools and mechanics of the iPad, you're able to create an artwork that looks realistic. It mimics the actual mediums that they would have used. The techniques are the same. The only difference is there's no mess. Watching YouTube videos makes art so much easier. One, because it's, it helps you understand what the finished product will look like, uh, what textures we need to use, and uh, tools uh, there are. Also, for me, art is easier uh, when I watch someone do it because I can go at my own pace. Everyone has a different pace. Working with an iPad makes art easier because, firstly, there are a variety of tools. For example, there's thinner brushes and there's thicker brushes. Also, if you want to blend two colors together, for example, a green and a blue, there will be many greens and many blues. If you've made a mistake, then you can also undo it. And if you've lost a piece of work, then you can also redo it. Technology here at Treeline's been uh, a great uh, movement for the kids. Uh, they have had a completely different experience when it comes to learning this year. Myself, I've had to change my teaching practices uh, to fit the needs of the kids. Uh, they are connected. Uh, they're connected and I need to be in tune with that. And uh, I think it's, it's the direction uh, that we need to go uh, for the students' uh, sake and their needs. Uh, in learning. Technology has made a major difference in my life because it, it makes my work more efficient and it makes research easier. When I started at Treeline I was impressed with the use of technology and how engaged the students were and also on task. I often wondered why and how it's working so well and soon realized it all starts with the climate of the school. There's a high level of trust between the administration and teachers, teachers and students, as well as between students. There's an atmosphere of caring, respect, and responsibility at Treeline. Students have learned to self-regulate so that they can do their best work in an environment that is designed to meet their needs and is created to maximize their success. Combine this with more ways to integrate technology and the future in education is exciting. The possibilities are endless. We're very excited about the way teaching and learning is happening at Treeline.